Josh Zawada, the outstanding sophomore, up to a good start. Four goals and three assists for the Wolverines coming off a 16 goal season a year ago. We are underway, Rutgers wins the opening faceoff. The Scarlet Knights are in their home white jerseys and Michigan in their maize blue as they like to call it on the road. Sun shining and all in all, not a bad day. 36 degrees at the opening faceoff for this Big Ten matchup between Michigan and Rutgers. Scarlet Knights carry up ahead. Ryan Gallagher flips it behind the goal. Are you looking to get off to a, a good start? Rutgers coming in 2-0 on the season. Big wins against top 10 opponents. Penn State 11-9 and then last week Ohio State 22-12. The most goals ever in a Big Ten game. They outshot the Buckeyes 58 to 31. That shot Good shot. Goes, it goes in actually. Yes. And Rutgers takes the early lead. As the situation gave a two on one to that side. Knobloch had the opportunity to take a shot. In goal for Michigan, John Kirikoff, 17.06 goals against average, 34% save percentage, 16 saves early on in this season. Rutgers wins another faceoff. And Rutgers has done an outstanding job on faceoffs so far early on this season. Rick. Oh, look at his pass and a shot. Go! Oh, Rutgers scores again in front. This time it's Karen Mullins who puts it home, and the Scarlet Knights are off to a sparkling start. Well, they lead it two nothing. That ball going out of bounds. You have to be ready to play defense. It's a quick whistle coming off that sideline. You'll see it right here. Quick pass inside the. Sh Mullins, Mullins able to fake. He believes that this Michigan offense is a sleeping giant. They are not playing up to their ability. They're a very good offense. Avery Myers flips it behind the goal. Up top it comes to Michael Bohm, another outstanding offensive player. And there's a shot score. So Michigan gets on the board. Josh Zawada, his fifth goal of the season. And Zawada, one of the top offensive forces in that Michigan lineup, and he cuts the deficit in half. As yeah, Zawada leads the offense for Michigan, that's his fifth goal in three games. They're going to have to be aware of where he is, especially on, on up top. Michigan team, their first two games. I think they have they have several uh, underclassmen playing as well. And they just got to find their they got to find their element here. Michigan has played very well in the first quarter. They've outshot their opponents 24-13 in the first period. Comes a shot. And a chance to tie it, and they do. On a man. That ball and winning possession. Thrown out of bounds by Michigan. Rutgers clear. So an unforced error by the Wolverines, and the Scarlet Knights have it. Gene Felix, actually, it's uh, Bobby Russo who flips it up ahead, and he finds Tommy Coyne. Here is Tommy Coyne, the senior midfielder. Brings up for the Scarlet Knights, gets it back. Coin makes a nice move. Inside look. Flips in front to Charlotte Beatties, who puts it home. No, yes. It's yes, a goal. It's a goal. <laughs> it's a goal. A delayed reaction by the Scarlet Knights, but it is a goal as Adam Sherlin Beatties scores his ninth of the season, 114th of his career. Well, you'll see right here, Tommy Cohn makes a nice move, finds Charlotte Beatties right there on the doorstep. Mahinio having a some situ uh, difficult situation on the faceoffs. Won his first couple, but the last two or three, he's having some difficulty against that quick clamp of roulette. Here's Michigan sends it up top to Kevin Mack, and they'll reset. Nine and a half remaining in the first. Rutgers with a one goal lead. Comes a shot, and we're tied at three. Michigan answers the bell again. That was just simply one-on-one -on -one sweep across the top, get in front of the goal, shoot it low and away. Jake Bonomi scores the goal, his second of the season. Long Island product out of St. Anthony's High School. David Sprock. Sprock. Here comes Kirst. First time we've seen him handle the ball. Michigan stand. Standing up, cheering. Pass back to X. Mullins, 10 on the shot clock. Kieran there Mullins. it is, wide open. Sherlin Beatties took the shot. Stop was made, gets it back, oh! it scores! <laughs> that was a series of shot, miss, pick it up, and go to town. Charlotte Knight goal off the rebound by 
Sherilyn Beanie's missed the in initial shot, then got the rebound and scored. Right there, he missed, it was wide open, and he says, hey, listen, give me the ball, I'll try it again. Pick it up. Wow. And are you again with an errant pass? Rutgers fortunate to keep possession here. Connor Kirst comes across. Plenty of time on the shot clock, 45 seconds. Well, Michigan will come out very aggressively and press the ball perimeter. They will not sit back in any kind of uh, sloughing zone or backup zone. They're gonna come out and play hard. Here's a cross field pass, the two on one, a shot and it's buried. Oh, Connor Kirst drills it just inside the far side pipe. His eighth goal of the season. That's your typical bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Move the ball. Pass, bing, bang, boom. Yeah, short stick defensive mid, he's on. Dodge from the wing. Two man game. Good ball movement by Michigan. Minute 35 left in the quarter. Here comes a shot, and a shot, save. Save made by Kirst and the rebound. Caroms outside, Garrett Bullet able to pick it up. Rutgers has some numbers if they hurry. Quickly they come, Brennan Kamish flips it. Here it comes. In the middle, the shot, Bang! score! Beautiful execution by Rutgers. Papa over to Kevin Mack. Mack makes a little bit of a move here. 25 seconds left in the period. Behind the goal, Michael Bohm brings it back outside to Papa. Oh. He takes the shot and scores. Big goal by Tyler Papa. Graduate student, midfielder, and he draws Michigan to within two. Well, if I have any criticism of the Rutgers defense, you'll see it right here. The short stick defensive middies. Some talented team, a young team. Rick, number three recruiting class in the nation according to Inside Lacrosse. You know, you know they return nine of their top 10 scores from last year. I mean, this offense, if they get going, it's a sleeping giant. You don't want to wake them up today. Michael Bohm has it here for Michigan, flips it up top. Jacob Jackson, shot. Rebound, scores! Yep, Michigan gets the goal as Michael Bohm got the rebound and put it home. And the Wolverines are down by one. It's six to five. Well, Kirst makes the initial save, but the ball pops him up. You'll see it right here. Here comes the shot. The save comes out of his stick. Bohm goes up, picks it up, puts it in. Bohm, a very talented freshman. He was a five-star recruit last year. He's starting to come into his own. Another nice face-off by DeHenio. He's going down, makes the pass, a shot! And Scored! a score! Adam Sherlin Beaties quickly answers for the Scarlet Knights. Face-offs, face-offs, face-offs. Win the face-offs, win the game. You'll see it right here. Whatever DeHenio wasn't doing in the first quarter, he found a way to win now. Passes out to Sherlin Beaties. You'd be the second extra man, maybe, maybe three in three games. Rutgers has very rarely been on extra man. Let's see what they can do. They start in a 1-4-1. One, one. Here comes a look. Two behind. Good ball movement. Sherlin Bees comes out. Kirst oh. fires oh. and scores. Connor Kirst puts it home. It's a man up goal for the Scarlet Knights, and they have a three goal cushion. Well, Rutgers did not waste a lot of time on that 30 second penalty. They moved that ball, they morphed from one uh, formation, wound up with two, reset on the clock, get the full 80 because it hit the pipe. Here's your two man game again from the hash marker close to it. Here's Zawada. Zawada makes a move. Look Comes, inside. Ooh. Came back with the pass, but then the ball loose on the ground, picked up by Rutgers. Good job there by Cole Danninger. Oh, Rutgers has numbers, Lou. Here we go, and the shot, bang! Score, beautiful ball movement. Danninger to Sherlin Beatties to Karen Mullins, who buries it. Oh, I'll tell you what. There's none better in transition than this RU team, Lou. They get going. 
They get that momentum at the 50, they're gonna get a good shot. Right here, you'll see it. They've got numbers. Here comes the first pass. Here comes the second, and there's Mullins to take. I know I'm sounding like a broken record here, Lou, but you would think Michigan will come up with something different. Here we go. What a defensive play there for Rutgers. Here comes the pass, and the shot, bang! Four. Put in by Tommy Coyne, but all made possible by Brennan Kamish, who really just put together an old-fashioned defensive mugging there to knock I'll the ball loose. I'll tell you loose. what, he took, he took the dollars out of this kid's pocket. Watch this, bang! Put that ball on the ground, and they're off to the races, and there are none better than the RU offense in transition. Off into another formation. Put the ball behind it, X. They're going to look inside. Nice job so far by the defense. A pick on the side. Almost caught Rutgers on the wing. Andrew Darby behind the goal. Comes up top. Here's a sidewinding shot that goes up over the crossbar. Taken by Jacob Jackson. Yeah, I'm not sure on an extra man situation, especially when you have a minute. You, want to, you don't want to take a 15-yard shot from no angle. Or from a poor angle, I should say. Jackson comes over. Oh, side. nice look. And Michigan gets the goal on the man up advantage. Bryce Clay puts it home. And the Wolverines now down by four. That was a great look There's down low back door. Right Caught the Rutgers defense ball watching. We'll see it right here, right across. Back to X. Look inside. Oh, beautiful! Beautiful pass from behind the goal. And then it's buried by Ryan Gallagher, who puts it home, the senior attacker. I'll tell you, Mullins did a heck of a job finding Gallagher on that doorstep. Kieran Mullins, beautiful pass. His fifth assist of the season. Now, Lou, that's Ryan's, Gallagher's first goal of the season. Well, it took a little bit. Two of the six goals. Wolverines are down by five, so they could use a score, obviously, here to kind of creep back into the game. Pass up top, shot, goal. Score, and again, it's Andrew Darby who puts it home this time. And again, as you called it, Rick, it has been their man up situations that have helped them. Yeah, like it's at three for three. Uh, seven, seven goals, three on extra man. Rutgers has to stay out of the bad boy box. And he has it, flips it over to Sprock on the right wing. Sprock up top to Kirst. Kirst, good ball moving here. Up across it goes to Sprock. He takes the shot and <laughs> scores! <laughs> David Sprock puts it home! Uh, Rutgers didn't need all of that 12 seconds. They only needed three. He scores with 0 0.9 on the clock. And Rutgers takes a five goal lead, a huge goal heading into halftime. Well, I'll tell you, that just goes to show you that you give Rutgers the ball on the offensive side of the field. They do not Kirst goes over. Sheryl Beatty's up top. Sprock. Good defense here by the Wolverines. There's a shot goes wide. Michigan doing a nice job on this series. Rutgers possession. Three minutes gone by third quarter. Scarlet Knights with a five goal lead. Shane Nabla takes the shot and scores. Well, you give Rutgers two full shot clocks on that offensive end. It's going to go. It's going to find its way into the cage eventually. Right here, you'll see Knobloch. He just changes from right to left and just posts up and takes the shot. Versus a top ten team. I got to say something about that score too, Lou. I mean, I mean. It might have gone unnoticed by a lot of people, but as a former coach, it certainly didn't go unnoticed by me. Coach Brecht, here comes a shot to save. Coach Brecht substituted 
with nine minutes. Here's a rebound and a great save. Substituted his team. He put a lot of players in that game, that Ohio State game, with nine minutes left to go. Here comes a shot by Kirst. Score! Kirst puts it up over the shoulder. And a Connor Kirst with another brilliant shot gives Rutgers a seven goal lead and Michigan calls a timeout. By the way, I want to mention it. New goalkeeper in for Michigan. Explosive here at the outset of the third quarter and they now have a seven goal lead of 14 to seven. Michigan well, loses okay. possession. It'll be well, they had, a, they, they had a push off the wing. Did a nice job, boxed out. Yusefi wins the faceoff. Kamich flips it over. Yeah, very, very quickly, Rutgers 22. Oh, look at this. Rutgers, David Sprock races in and drills it home. That was just too easy. Sprock, well, I say too easy, but Sprock makes it look easy. Right here. Just gets hip to hip, gets inside hip, and th there's no job of playing the angles there. He just hugged that pipe, gave him the far side, knew he was going to shoot five, far side, and was able to make save. Tommy Coyne flips it back. Hey, Lou, did you see the Rotkin Center, the new Rotkin Center? Unbelievable facility. Oh, what a... Tremendous facility for Rutgers Athletics. Look inside there, beautiful! Gallagher puts it home off the brilliant pass from the side of the cage. <laughs> it just went from Kirst to Mullins to Gallagher on the crease. Our ESPN boys would say tick tock toe or something like that. We say what here in Jersey, Lou? Bada bing, <laughs> bada boom, bada bing. When Karim's out, and Michigan sorely needed that. You got soccer, men's and women's soccer in here, and men's and women's lacrosse, state-of-the-art classrooms, weight room, locker rooms. If you get a chance, go to the Rutgers lacrosse website and uh, follow some of the videos they have up on there. It, it's an unbelievable center. We haven't been able to get in there, Lou, because of COVID uh, protocols, but I'm looking forward to seeing what they have in there. Beautiful shot there by Michigan. And the Wolverines get a much, much needed goal Jacob Jackson puts it home and the Wolverines draw to within eight it's now 16 to eight brilliant shot curse no chance on that one will lead it's 16 to eight curse going behind the Mullins at X starting to one three two Ball movement. James Ringer out there for Rutgers. First time we've called his name today. He's got it. Oh, what a dodge! Nice move and <laughs> scores! <laughs> On cue, the sophomore, James Ringer. Yeah, he's an extra man uh, player from Bayport, Long Island. You'll see right here. You talk about, you high school guys, watch this right now. If you have any dodge, this is the dodge you want. Watch this. Fake shot. Just a quick dodge, face dodge, and a Turry rather. Uh, I've known the Turry family for so long. Um, his father, Bill Turry, assistant coach at West Islip, a great, great program, West Islip. Here comes Rutgers on the march. Quickly, Scarlet Knights bring it up. Zach Massessa. Shot, Sherlin <laughs> Beanies puts it home. That's a typical box lacrosse move from our friends up north. You'll watch it right there. Go one way, go the other way. Put the stick behind that big body of his. Watch it right here. I'll change direction here. I'll change direction here. I'll come back this way, and I'll just let it go. Jonathan Dugenio, the sophomore, transferred from St. John's. Been outstanding this year in the circle. Local kid from Bridgewater Raritan. My good friend Chuck Appel, high school coach. One of the great all time high school programs in New Jersey. Here's Ross Scott. 
Hat. Flips side of the cage. Look at this. Up top, cursed. Let's it rip. Yeah, we had a moving pick there. So Michigan gets it on the turnover. How do defensive coaches sleep at night when you know that you got to play Rutgers? Wolverines throw it away. Rutgers picks it off. Up ahead, Sherlin Beatties. Look at that. Delivers side of the cage, <laughs> cursed, scores. That was just too easy for Rutgers. Yeah, Huge rivalry game next week at Ohio State. That'll be a big game at the shoe. Michigan's fifth extra man opportunity in this game. Scored three of four so far. Over the top, shot. Just wide. goes wide. Bet Kelly took that shot. Good look right there. And the Wolverines get a goal. Much needed goal. Bryce Clay puts it home. It's now 19 to 9. Well, again, Michigan takes advantage of a man up, man up opportunity and scores their fourth goal on five attempts. The sounds of lacrosse. It, it, it's wonderful to hear. Dodge from Curse from the wing. Draws the double. Has to retreat. 40 seconds on the shot clock. Less than a minute remaining in the quarter. Oh, good ball move there. He's going to look inside. Sprock takes the shot and scores. David Sprock puts it home. Another goal for him. Nice day for the junior. And Rutgers has hit the 20 goal mark. For the second straight week, Scarlet Knights lead it 20 to nine. Can you watch the ball movement? Hey, it's 5-4 at half. I'm sorry, it just went 5-5. Wow. Next two games, actually, Rutgers and Maryland, and then the following week against Johns Hopkins, both games on the road. By the way, the second half of the season, Big Ten schedule, should, I would think, come out this week at some point. Oh, good shot. Beautiful shot taken by Jacob Jackson, who's played a pretty solid game yeah, for he's the a, Wolverines. He's got a great lefty shot. He could release it on the run, and he's accurate. And he draws the Wolverines to within 10. It's 20 to 10. Right here, you see he gets body position. He uses, he uses Eric Savetti, who's in the game now. Showing a little cre creativity on that shot. 30 seconds on the shot clock. In front shot, score! Sweet dodge from the wing. Shane Knobloch with another goal. No shame Shane, he'll, he'll put you to shame, I'll tell you that. Give him a one on one opportunity from the goal line extended wing, and he finds an opening. Of changes out there for the Scarlet Knights. Almost all of the starters are out. Sherlin Beatties is still out there. And that is a violation. Shot clock violation. Great defense by Rutgers. Hey, Lou, imagine being the Rutgers goalies in practice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no wonder they're so good. Russo and Kirst, I mean, they, they face great shots every day. Here's transition, Michigan. And score! Beautiful shot by Bryce Clay as he beats Russo. It's now 21-11. Well, again, Bryce Clay shows his talent when he's open in front of that crease right here. You'll see beautiful pass, great underhand shot, low. Scott up top, four minutes, 40 seconds left in the game. Rutgers up 21 to 11. And a chance for some of the reserves to show what they've got out there. Yeah, these, you know, it's good when that happens. It's good for the locker room. It's good for 
morale. I mean, these guys practice hard every day. Sanguinetti flips it behind the goal, oh, and then a nice. wraparound shot score. Beautifully done by Eric Savetti. Oh, he came hard around the cage from X. Tiptoed along that crease and was able to cash in on the shot. See it right here. Right at X, change of direction, swim move, able to put it in. An injury was Brown double teamed. Comes over to Jackson. He's had a good game. Then Hull. Michigan gets a shot off and scores. So the Wolverines get another goal. Pass the ball on the double. Rutgers didn't make the second. Michigan riding hard here. Brian Russo breaks free. Has it knocked away? Michigan no quit. Still playing tough. Okay. Michigan will get another opportunity to shoot. Ten seconds left. There's the shot. Save made. Stephen Russo. And that will do it. The fifth-ranked Scarlet Knights of Rutgers with an impressive victory over Michigan as they defeat the Wolverines 22 to 12. Great game by Rutgers once again, putting up 22 on the scoreboard. So much 